Hello world, Sir Lawrence NZ here, and welcome back to another game on Arena between Eddie and the Viper. This time we have game two, wink wink. Anyway, <laughs> after an interesting start to game two, <laughs> yep, happy new year's, um, botch TV. Anyway, we have Eddie in the grey to the north of the map, and we have the Viper to the south of the map in yellow once again. We have a man's Byzantines matchup. Byzantines is belonging to the Eddies, and man's to um, the Viper right now. Okay, so let's look at these guys' maps. Looks like Viper has a nice back gold there, a nice back gold there. Quite large, but sadly up against the side of the map, won't be able to get full saturation on that gold, and <laughs> that one random wall. Anyway, Viper having two back golds, and he has one front gold on the very front of his map, and two front stones, so Viper's resources aren't looking too nice there. Now for Eddie, we have a front gold and a back gold. In fact, it looks like both these guys have really, really bad map spawns. Viper only having free gold, and Eddie also having only free gold. Then we have one gold either side of the map. However, the Viper does... Wait. Okay, Eddie does kind of have a back stone and a front stone. Viper has two front stone, yeah. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not TV. Anyway, um... Man, it's kind of hard to tell, like, has Eddie gotten that? Okay, Eddie has gotten that sheep. But anyway, Eddie just scouting around with the scout like it's meant to do, and Viper walking around with his boar stealer. Sorry, I mean his, um, scout. Isn't going to be able to steal any boar from Eddie, though, as his boar are both on the inside. However, for the Viper, he has one boar on the outside of his walls. And one on the inside of his wall, so he's probably going to want to lure that with his scout, possibly. It will be quite easy for him to do. However, Eddie coming in with a scout cavalry, he might be looking to lame, I'm not sure. But yeah, Viper probably wanting to get that boar in sooner rather than later. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if the Viper takes that boar with his scout. Eddie could go for the lame here, has Eddie noticed? Is Eddie gonna go for the lame? Eddie not going for the lame, didn't notice the boar. So Viper possibly narrowly missing a uh, kind of a bit of a tight situation there, but both these guys once again on level playing field and I'll put the game speed up to 75. Eddie, pretty tidy boar lure. Viper, it looks like the boar might have actually gone back. Let's see, any of these guys injured? Nah. Okay, so it looks like Viper was just kind of a bit slow. Maybe he was waiting um, for the time of the boar so that he didn't have that much decay time. Anyway, um, what are these guys doing? Looks like AD just putting a small hole in the back wall there so that he can get his boar through. And Viper, yep, okay. Eddie once again letting some um, decay time go on his boar while the Viper looks like he is mm, not quite to the same point so we'll see how that is for the Viper but Viper has been nailing his um, decay time for every single game. And I would say the Viper is going to nail this decay time as well. Possibly a little bit slow. Okay, putting a second lumber cam there. Okay, yep, nailed it once again every single time. However, letting his boar fall a little bit outside of his TC, but at least not having any idle time. Also, Eddie taking two deers at once, possibly kind of a bit of a waste there. But anyway, being able to push those deer in quite quickly, doing quite well. While the Viper hasn't lured any deer by the looks of it, he has got his eagle water at the front, kind of just scouting at the moment. And keep on knocking the wrong thing. Okay, so Viper not really noticing any of the four resources. Hasn't seen the four gold there, which is unfortunate for Viper, so he won't be sure really where to drop a castle if he does. But Viper, I'd say it's about a 90% likelihood that he's going to be dropping a castle as the man's. 
and as the Byzantines I'm not really sure what it is going to be doing. He might be putting out a whole bunch of trash actually. It'd be interesting if he just put a whole bunch of skirmishers out to try and counter the plumed archers and that's probably one of the better counters out there to be honest. But anyway, Viper up to the fuel age now. Both these guys on pretty much the same population but it looks like the Viper has gotten one less villager in but moving up about 25 seconds faster so yeah that's about right. The Viper having two seconds of unnecessary idle time on his TC though by the looks of things at least. Probably a bit more so I'm going to say seven but yeah. Viper having two seconds more idle time on his TC than Eddie did over the course of the Dark Age. Viper now just lowering his deer, looks like he's got all of them in. Having quite a few things under the TC at one time though, with only like one or two villagers on each, so kind of a bit of a waste there, but Viper getting up usual blacksmith and market, Eddie getting up, let's see, looks like Eddie is going to be going, yep, blacksmith and market. We've been seeing Eddie doing, um, blacksmith and stable actually recently which has allowed him to move up forwards and get some scout cavalry and some um, map control as he tries to get the relics but looks like he's just going for a normal um, blacksmith and market. Looks like Eddie also getting up to the castle age and getting um, double bit axe slightly before the viper but Eddie moving up with one more villager. Also, I haven't really looked at the relic placement, but we have three relics on the side here, all closest to Viper, and um, two more relics on the side, and then one relic about midway, slightly closer to Viper again. So if Viper can move out and get those relics really quickly, he could definitely be in a strong position. I was about to say Viper was the Aztecs and also getting that bonus, but nope, he is the Mayans. So he will also be able to make those back golds last longer than Eddie. I hadn't thought of that. Um, yeah, Eddie's got one back gold, so Eddie doesn't have a huge amount to fall back to. While the Viper, with that 20% longer resource lasting bonus, that's definitely going to be real strong for him. And Viper now moving up with a scout, looking to just scout a bit more, I guess. Not sure. Um, yeah. Eddie kind of just patrolling around the front of Viper's base as Viper gets up a monastery. And it looks like Viper's just going to be poking at the wall, expecting um, Eddie to say 22. Quit touching me. And, yep, the scout from Eddie is going to be stronger than the Eagle Warrior, however. Looks like the scout must have taken a bit of damage because a fuel age scout should be able to beat an eagle warrior unless it has upgrades. Okay, Viper got some upgrades on it. Looks like he got iron casting even. So I completely missed that, but definitely quite strong for the Viper there. He's going to be able to do some work against these monks. If the Viper could deny that relic right over there, that could be huge. Looks like one um, Eagle Warrior got converted. Is it going to be able to be stopped before it kills? And Viper's Monk barely surviving, but a nice quick wall from Eddie going to be able to save his villagers and get, oh, and get the Siege Workshop up. But Viper going to be able to take some relics now. And let's see. Eddie looking like he's in a bit of a sticky situation here as the Viper walking away with the relics now. And moving up with some more Eagle Warriors. Also, wait. Eddie barely getting the quick wall up in time. Is he going to be able to repair the quick wall there? Yep, he does it with a quick stone wall. Nice quick reactions from Eddie, but yeah. Let's see where it goes from here. It looks like the Viper currently has three relics, and he's going to be moving on to the fourth while Eddie, zero relics right now, looking to be in quite a weak position as the Viper going to just be able to take out the mangonels within a matter of seconds and be able to scoop up that fourth and fifth relic for the Viper. So the Viper are taking some great trades here with his Eagle Warriors. Going to be able to kill those two monks as well as Viper moves up to get the fifth relic any second now. And there we go, that's GG. A very quick game by the Viper taking that map control with the Eagles and overall just being able to stop Eddie in his tracks.
Also, I need to change the title of the stream, but anyway, that was a good game. GG, well played, the Viper and Eddie, and let's just quickly look at those achievements. Anyways, thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe and follow my Twitch stream. Goodbye.